a, a distance of about three miles and heading towards the station, trying to get within about 40 feet for the capture of the vehicle by station's Canada Arm 2. It's a 58-foot-long robotic arm that's going to be operated by flight engineers Nicole Stott and Bob Thursk and Frank DeWinna later today to bring the vehicle in for a docking to the space station. That docking scheduled, or the grapple is scheduled to start at about 2.50 p.m. Central Time, but NASA will begin its coverage of the approach to the International Space Station at 2 p.m. Central Time today. station and HTV are currently about 220 miles above the South Pacific Ocean heading towards the coast of South America.